Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. We have to continue speaking about the, the SAS4 radios and I'm going to show you about the cards, how you can create the, the cards, whether you want to use prepaid card or refill cards, something that I'm going to show you in this lecture. So let's go directly and start with the explanation. So let's go directly to the uh, SAS. And uh, on the uh, radios, uh, we go for our admin account in English and then uh, we log in. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work with the card systems over here. So what does it mean here? Remember, we have uh, previously in the previous uh, lectures created uh, the uh, users. We created uh, one user called test1. So now I'm going to create another user. And uh, this user is going to be connected to the profile, which we made it, which is 3 megabit for one month, and it costs 25 US dollars. So I'm going to create uh, a, uh, some cards. Uh, with the amount of 25 uh, US dollars, meaning that if the user wants to connect to uh, this profile, then he has to pay 25 US dollars. Whether he's using hotspot or using PPPoE connection, he has to pay uh, that uh, from the card. So let's you know, me, let me show you how we can do that. So we go to the card system and we generate cards. So we have two types. We have refill card and we have prepaid card. So refill means that uh, uh, the uh, customer will pay you and then you refill for them or they can do it from their portal themselves. But before we do that, I would like to first create the user. So let's do that. So we create a user. I'm going to create a new user and I'm going to call it test2. So test2 and he has a password of 123456, 123456. And we give it the profile 3 megabit uh, for one month, which costs 25 US dollars, as we have seen. And uh, that's it. So I have created the, the uh, user and then we say submit. So now we can see that test2 is uh, shown over here. And now the uh, user, he can connect to his portal. So if we go to 10.0.0.254 uh, slash, uh, sorry, yeah, slash user. Then uh, if we go to that, it, it will show for you the portal for the user. And then let's uh, connect to it. So we say test2 and the password 123456. And then we log in. So that's what the user can see. And this is his portal. This is for the user. So you can see he has this uh, bandwidth, but the subscription is uh, expired because he doesn't have uh, the money. So you see his account is zero. So he didn't pay anything. That means he can't uh, use it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create cards and then we come back to here and then we redeem the card over here. That means he pays you $25. You give him the code. You put the code there. And then in this case, he can activate his account to be able to use it. So let me show you how we can do that. Now we can go to the card system. And we create, we generate a new card system. We will call it refill or we take the type which is refill. And it is $25 US dollars. So you can put here prefix something that uh, the code start with. So I'll say maybe CR, which is credit, credit. And then we make it for uh, 10 cards. For example, the expiration, we can put it any date somewhere in the future. And the pin size is eight. That's fine. And uh, that's it. So now what you can do, you can also do auto activate. Why we do that in case the user just directly put the money, he refill uh, the uh, the card uh, in his uh, portal. Then in uh, this case, if we don't do the auto activate, then the account will not be activated. So he has to activate it himself again. All right. If we do it auto activate, so it will be activated directly. Let me show you first without auto activate. So let's uh, generate uh, the card first. So, um, we do have some others right here. So this one now we just created, it is pending. We just restart and here we go, it is finished. Very good. So now we go to the uh, card system and uh, we have that one, the refill card, which is having this number. So if we go to it, we can see we, it has generated for us 10 vouchers. And these are the pins that we uh, have. All start with CR as I have mentioned. And the price is per one 25 US dollars. So let's take one. Let's say that the customer has paid us. We say, okay, fine. This is your um, uh, code that you want to put. 
So the customer, he is on his portal. So this is the portal of the customer. So he has to redeem the code. He put it there. And then he will say here, OK. All right, very good. So let's uh, refresh it. So uh, this has been uh, uh, added. But the, you can see the subscription is still expired. Why is that? Because we still have or the customers still have to activate the account. So that's what is the, uh, I told you that you can do it uh, auto activate, then he doesn't have to do two steps, like putting the redeem and then activate the account. So if we didn't do that, so he has to activate the account. So we go there and then we say activate the account and use the balance that we have. And then we say here, okay. So now the customer has activated the, the service uh, on his portal and it means that he can now connect to the if we go back to uh, to here so we can see it's active and it has given him for one month period very good and uh, yeah so now he can um, if he pay for you for example another 25 dollars so you can give him another code so you can see this code has been used so if i refresh it so this code has been used for test2. Now I give him this code if he pays me, for example, for two months in advance. I give him second code and then redeem. So look here, it's finishing on, uh, let me see if you can see that. Yes, you can see that. So it's finishing on uh, 5th uh, of June, 2023, uh, 24 actually. So uh, uh, we redeem the code. There's another code. Then it should go to, uh, to July now. Don't forget he has to Activate it. And we can see now, if we go back, so we can see it has been added to uh, July. Very good. So now what I want to do is just to uh, log in to this uh, user from my phone. Something happened uh, today that I uh, can't share my uh, phone on my uh, screen. So I don't know, I tried to do a lot of uh, troubleshooting to see if I can fix the problem, but I couldn't fix it. So I'm going to log in here and show you directly what's happening on the, the camera on my phone. So I'm going to go, first of all, uh, we see that there is the hotspot. You can see it's showing their hotspot, yeah? So I will connect to the hotspot. So I'm connecting. And it took me to this page, which is the hotspot page. Let me show you. So this is the hotspot page that it took me to. So I will put now test2, test2, and password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I put test2 and the password 1, 2, 6. And then I will say here connect. And I'm connected. So you can see my hotspot is saying you can see that it is connected on the hotspot. So uh, that's it. So now you can see that uh, it was here showing offline. If I refresh it, it should show me it is online. And the user, if I go to the admin uh, page over here, you can see first of all, those two vouchers were used by the test two. And uh, if we go to the uh, user, on, and then uh, user list, we can see that it's online. You can look to the online user. So test two is online and it has received this uh, IP. Very good. So that is uh, the first thing that I wanted to show you on the, the card system, which is the refill card. Let me show you the second one, which is we go to generate and we make the prepaid users. Again, remember that those vouchers or those cards work on PPPoE and on hotspot, not only on hotspot. Now, prepaid users is mostly we use it for the hotspot, meaning someone want to connect to the internet for like one hour, if you create some profiles for one hour or for 10 hours or for one once or whatever, right? So uh, you can give him just a voucher with a username and password, he use it and then he's able to connect. All right, now before I do that, because we want to do the test again, so I'm going to go to my Microtech router First, I have to disconnect my wireless here on my phone, and then we go to the Microtech router. Um, it's not important. So let, that's, uh, the, well, maybe it's because it, the problem is on the hotspot, it looks for the cookies, you see? So this is the cookie. I just want to remove it. That's what I wanted to do. 
So because I'm going to use the same phone, it may do some problems. All right, so let's go back here. So I create prepare the user, and then I give it a value, say, of, um, I don't know, 25. And I'm going to make it for the same profile, for example. Of course, you can use more profiles. I'm just using one profile because that's just for the testing that we're doing here. And I put, uh, again, 10 uh, vouchers. And then the expiration, we put it somewhere in the future. And prefix, I'm not going to do anything. So uh, username, uh, size, and password size. I'm going to, you better do with the, uh, uh, the bigger number. So put eight or 10, minimum eight, I would say. Uh, but because this is a test, I don't want to write a lot. So I'm going to put four by four. You can also use the Mac login. So this is for hotspot, meaning it will remember the Mac address if you just check it. I'm not going to do it for the hotspot. Simultaneous sessions, that means how many users can use this voucher. So uh, if you are giving this for a family, maybe you can increase it for four, for example, five or whatever. If you're just giving it for a cafe, maybe you just make it one. So one uh, machine can be using. If you are giving it for a hotel, so uh, for the guests, maybe you put it two or three, so then they can use the same voucher for uh, the phone, for the tablet, and for the computer, for example. All right. Um, now you can also enable this to to make the same uh, username and password. So in this case, you don't want to use uh, to write username and password. You can use the the same, which is uh, the username. But uh, I'm not going to do anything more than that, and that's it. So now we just say here, generate. So it's pending. Let's refresh it. Still pending. It made a few take a few minutes and a few seconds, and then it's uh, finished. Now it's finished. So now, if I go to the cards, so this is the prepaid one. So uh, what you can do, you can just uh, if you want go to here and then uh, because you need to to have those cards to distribute them to your uh, uh, customers. So you can do it as PDF, and you can use the uh, template. So this company has. Uh, the, for SaaS has a, a template which is already made for them so you can see it this is how it looks so this is for the company which has SaaS uh, for uh, or you can create your own template and it's really 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 amazing I, I was really like uh, surprised to see that so you can just put uh, for example you can put a picture on uh, the design so you can just click here select uh, a background image you can put it here uh, whatever you can select an image and put it here and then uh, that is the background then what you can do you can just say that is the username you put it there that is the password you can make the design as much as you like right so this is the username that is the password um, that is the card value which is uh, normally uh, five, 25 US dollars this is the profile name which shows over here uh, the expiration when it's finishing so all of those information, you can put them the way you want, and then you can make your own design. All right, so that's really amazing how this works here. It's a drag and drop, and uh, I like it too much. Now, if we go back to uh, the prepaid users, so we can see those are the username and password. So again, you can use it for the PPPoE, you can use it for hotspot. So I'm going to connect now to the hotspot and uh, use uh, this username and this password to see if I'm going to be connected to the internet. So I'm going to go to my phone again. I enable, so this is my phone in my hand now. So I will enable the uh, hotspot and uh, uh, I'm gonna put uh, the username 5103 and the password 4832. So you can see I put them username and password and then I'm going to make connect to the hotspot and you can see it's connected so it's now connected working perfectly and uh, we don't have any uh, problem and uh, yeah so this is uh, again another way to make uh, to use the card systems so uh, remember we have uh, two types we have the refill card that I showed you how to do it you have the uh, prepaid uh, users that's how you can do it uh, now, if you are on uh, uh, on this uh, board over here, and uh, uh, you can, what you can do, you can go to the user, for example, and uh, say on test two. 
So uh, what you can do, you can uh, extend the servers, you can uh, deposit money, withdraw money, so you can just deposit and you say, uh, if you don't want to use the card, you can say test2 has paid me cash 25, so you don't need to ask him to uh, put that code on his portal. For example, you can just add that money, that's possible. But also what you can do, you can take the money out of it. So if we go from here, um, we go to withdrawal, withdrawal, and then we can see that at this moment, this user too, um, he doesn't have any money here. So if I say take out 25 US dollars from him and then submit, and we go back to here and so we can see that his uh, um, balance becomes negative 25 US dollars because I took the money out of him. But if I deposit the money for him, so I can just make deposit, 25 submit and i go to the user portal so yes uh, here was minus 25 now it is zero so you can see how sas for radius is amazing it's really a nice software to use if you want to distribute services using the internet so this is all what i wanted to show you in this lecture about the card systems on uh, the uh, sas for radius server so it's amazing i liked it too much and uh, you can see it's a pretty nice software that you can use it in your ISP. So I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.